Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. Recently, for a video publication, I was asked if I could mock up a quick Facebook page. Now, rather than cutting and paste, what I did was I made a Facebook page in Photoshop with completely editable details. And that's what we're giving away free at tipsquirrel.com today, today being the 3rd of December 2012. There should be a link somewhere around this video. But why do we need a video? Well, I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse because what I want to do is just show you how easy it is to use, although it may look a little bit complicated to start with. First of all, let's have a look at this left-hand sidebar. Well, there we go, left-hand sidebar. And if you're not sure if you're going to be going into the right place, just click on the eyeball and you'll see that the big section will disappear. OK, let's twirl that open and you can see that then we've got more groups in there as well. Let's see if we can't change this 18 here for the notification of how many pages have been fed. OK, so we can have a look down the left hand side bar and we can see icons pages. Is that one want? Yes, it is. So we'll twirl that one open and then pages feed. That looks like it's going to be the right one. Indeed, let's twirl that one open and sure enough, number of messages. There it is. We've got it. Twirl that one open and we can either have 20 plus or a number. So let's go 20 plus. There we go. We've changed that. Or we can go in and change that 18 to whatever we want. Let's change it to three. And there we are. It's as simple as that. Let's change that one back to 18. There we go. And we'll twirl all these ones closed. Keep it all nice and neat. And maybe we want to have a look at the chat. Now at the moment you can see that chat is switched off as far as this mock-up is concerned. So let's go and have a look at that. I'm going to just scroll down a little bit and we need to go into the right hand bar this time. Right sidebar. Indeed, there it is. It's in there somewhere. And on chat is not on. Not on chat is on. There we go. So we can go in and we can edit this as much as we like. Everything is there for you to use as much as you wish. And you can see that it's uh, all there. OK, let's turn that off. Let's turn off that and put that on and away we go. We can alter these to be whatever we want them to be. There we go. We're on profile two at the moment. That's that one there. So we can put an icon in. We can uh, change the uh, indicator from a green circle to a telephone, whatever it needs. OK, let's go and have a look what else we've got. What about on this blue bar at the top? Twirl all these down. Blue bar, indeed, that's what we're after. Let's twirl that one open. And again, a whole load inside there. Now you notice we've got social media name. Now I cannot, for legal reasons, give you the font that you need, but uh, there's some out there. The one I used is not available for me to give to you in this file. So uh, I've had to rasterize these, I'm afraid. But I have given you several to choose from. Uh, book face there, and of course, the inevitable Facebook as well. OK, in the search bar, there you can see that uh, search for people, places and things, which is what it usually says. We can edit that so we can put in something to search should uh, our characters need that. But also you'll see that we've got some indicators here. They can all be changed as well. Um, where am I at the moment? Oh, yeah, there's my icons. Um, Chat notification numbers, that must be at. Yeah, we go. And notification numbers. Yeah, there we go. They're all around there somewhere. So you can see it's all editable, even the bits in the middle here. So we can change all the commenters, uh, comments and names, and we can give it more likes, whatever we wish. So there we go. This is available from tipsquirrel.com, completely free of charge, as from the 3rd of December 2012. But please use it for good. Don't go there and make trouble with it, will you? Thank you very much. My name's Eric Grano. I'll see you again next time.